Ten. Oh, Sean Diggs is oh, oh, no, no, let go. Oh, Saunders back in the pack. Sponsor. Donovan's in it. Sean English is in it. Oh my God. Caution. No way. Or he's gonna die bomb him. Here he goes. He's gonna try a bomb. All the way to his bomb. Or can he stop him? Can't do it. Dylan Lord is gonna win it here at Iowa. Bump and run. Oh, he's done it before. Bump and run. The 61 of the can he make one? He's got it. He's got it. He's inside the O2. He's got it! Oh, Burrows is around! Oh, the record right in front of him. That's Mokrin. John has a great, great run on the high side. Drive off. Drive off the corner. And... They're going to be side by side. This is going to be a photo for just three wide out the wire. And that's the stripe. It's going to be... Ruggles! Ruggles. Oh my Ruggles. god, what a finish! Ace car is in. We're up and away. Green, green, green. The green flag. One, oh, we got talked! Oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, Dude, track on the start finish line! Who comes out on top? Dallas my hand wins! Dallas my hand wins it! What? Make quick work of that number nine of Eric Andrews. Andrews washes up the racetrack. Oh, let's go! Oh, no! Oh! They're gonna be wrecking! That's the big one! Oh my god, Connor's involved! They're still wrecking. Hello guys, welcome for the Ice Car Peter Getting Graphics Design Series getting set for 100 laps for the Las Vegas uh, 150 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway here in Nevada. My name is Icarus. And I'm Dewey Shram. Welcome to the broadcast. Yeah, it should be a fun one as we get ourselves set up from start to finish, but yeah, uh, of course we're coming down here, uh, coming close in time for the chase. Uh, and he's going to be shown right in front of your screen. Uh, Mulrooney, one of the lead points as of right now. Derek of Smith, uh, second place. I think Derek, I mean, not Derek, but uh, Mulrooney, he did win last race. Yeah, he did. He picked up the pole and led the most laps at Atlanta. With him winning it, of course, he has a huge margin over that 10th place of Cody Webster. Actually, Webster, with his bonus points, he maybe can even uh, pull himself uh, Margin without even making a start. Uh, Falkingham has elected, uh, has stated he's not going to be running the rest of the ice car season, so that's why he now has 1,000 points instead of his starting 1,015. I think so. Uh, yeah, unfortunate for Falkingham, but well, for us futures, stuff like that. So, yeah, and they're so set for the race. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over a bit of track facts and stuff like that, but. Uh, yeah, uh, Dewey, uh, I guess you could just take us coming in for the weather. Let's go. I am meteorologist Dewey Shram with your Las Vegas race day forecast. Your current temperature is 72 degrees with a partly cloudy sky. The, oh wait, that's the track temperature. Well, the air temperature is 69, which is pretty nice. So, uh, just a few degrees cooler than the track temperature. The humidity is 0%. It's really dry. You should get some water if you're watching the race. And the winds are coming out of the northwest at about 10 miles per hour. So we have great racing conditions tonight. And we are just 
a few minutes away from the drop of the green flag. Back to you, Mr. Thank you, Dewey. As we get ourselves set up for going for the green flag, our race uh, analytics is going to be shown on the bottom right as well. Um, 100 laps going to be green for tonight, 150 miles in length, no stages, uh, fuel window. I mean, now yeah, fuel window should be every 25 to 33 laps, but that should fluctuate because, again, various strategies going to be played out tonight. 50% fuel window will um, will be interesting in how uh, all these drivers will. Yeah, it'll probably be a, a three-stop race, but you mentioned strategy. Some people might try to make it on two stops instead, so we'll have to see how, how that all pans out and who decides to do what. But the checkered flag is waving as, yeah, that means uh, practice has ended, so we'll go ahead and scoot ourselves to the side, play the national anthem. Rise out, remove your hats as we salute our nation's colors. And we're back here live at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Las Vegas 150. Now just joining us, welcome here live. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, you know. Um, yeah, um, cut, um, cut chase playoff format. I don't even know what they call it nowadays. A elimination the round. Elimination race. Yeah, elimination okay. race. Cut off round of eight. Round of, this is not even, there's 13 drivers in the... Chase total. Uh, we'll pull up points again to see where everybody's standing. But um, so the way the, the chase goes here in ISCAR is um, we eliminate three drivers per round. Uh, two rounds per chase. Uh, I was two rounds per chase. I'm stumbling upon my words. Apologies about that. But two rounds. No, no, no. There's four rounds. Two. There are two <laughs> rounds. Oh, my chase. oh God. Yes. There's, Words are hard. Uh, five stages, four rounds, three champions. Whatever. It's so so confusing nowadays. Just make it okay. simple. So <laughs> oh, basically, no. all right. So basically, to summarize, there's a two a predetermined amount of drivers that are in the chase right now that at, that 13. coming next week yeah, will 13. no longer be in the chase. Right. We eliminate that three. Is, that is what you need every to know. Two races. Well, we know one of the drivers that will be eliminated, and you mentioned him a few minutes ago, will be Daniel Falkingham. Right. He's elected to, I guess, not forfeit, but just elect not to run. So right. that gives guys like Dominic Howe, who already have seven points to the good, and a little more cushion since there's one less driver to get in their way. So, right. yeah. was it three that, get, three that get cut? Yeah, three that get cut every two races. Yeah, I'm excited. It should be interesting and in how this will all turn out and such. But right now, we're watching these drivers go ahead and zoom around this 1.5 mile racetrack. Currently up top, Nick Miller in that number 9 machine. You do have some returning faces here for tonight. How about that? Uh, Seth Rawls in the 078. Been a while since we've seen him out on the racetrack. Uh, obviously, sponsored the modified, C uh, modified League. Here he is, returning on the racetrack where the place he won at in the Truck Series last season. 
Yeah, we saw Kean Rally Howell return this weekend, and I believe he scored a win, right? Right, he scored a win so at he's, uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, he's already off to a fresh start, so that's another driver we haven't seen in a long time. So he's already back, and he came back with a bang. So we'll have to see if he can continue that tonight and perhaps for the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. Kean is one of those uh, very, very uh, popular racers, I guess you could say, around the I don't know how much I rating he had. He used to have 4K, but now it's sort of weird from him. You know, it was 2K, 2.8K I rating, but um, runs NIS and AFIX and such. See him sometimes, official side of things. But yeah, good to see Kian out on the racetrack. And of course, um, picking up his, no, not his first, but his second win. His first came at Chicagoland in this series itself last season. And it looks like qualifying will be wrapping itself up right here, right about now. And it looks like the number nine of Nick Miller scores the pole for tonight. So that nine machine, who I think is, I think he's in the chase, but yeah, he is. already a good start for him tonight. Yep. Yeah, he's 19 points behind Mulroney, but him starting up front will definitely be beneficial. Yeah, definitely, and, and we'll go ahead and show our starting order here right in front of your screen. Ryan Kendrick uh, starting to be in second place, but of course Nick Miller in that number nine going to be starting first. Row number two gives us the points leader, Aaron Mulrooney, and to his outside, the 56 of Kean Rally Howell. Row number three going to be Brody Gardner, who's had a nice uh, resume of finishes this weekend. Of course, finishing top five most of the time, but... Watch out for that number 99. Also, Peter Kenny with a surprising uh, qualifying run. He's going to be starting in sixth. Garner also had a really nice run last time the Xfinity Series was out at Atlanta. But row four gives us the 02 of Josh Patterson and to his outside, the 21 of Austin Johnson. Um, uh, of course, uh, that number 99 finishing, I think, in second place. But row number five, Mitch Hobbs in that number 89 and in 38. Uh, Nick and Delicato, uh, yet again, and Delicato making his return here in the ISCAR Racing Series. Uh, rest of the order is going to be shown on your screen. Find your favorite driver, and hopefully he wins it here for tonight. And we do have some uh, notable chasers starting toward the rear end of the field who did not uh, qualify. One of those people, Derek what? M. Smith, and such like that. William Schmidt as well. That was a ve that this ticker's moving very fast. Yeah, I was <laughs> about that. I like clicking through before the animation could even finish. But yeah, uh, we'll get an update on try, them as we get through. Sorry about try that. Me try memorizing them. There will be a quiz at the end of the broadcast. <laughs> oh no! Uh, apologies about that. But yeah, Pop get ourselves set up. Everybody. All right, so mm, focus on a. Uh, And the caution's already out here. <laughs> yeah, of course, we're on the face and stuff like that. We're trying to find the pole sitter. Uh, there he is, the knight of Nick Miller. Gets himself off, warming up his tires, doing burnouts and stuff like that. But yeah, Nick Miller going to be starting up front, of course. Uh, Miller did not have a great Atlanta. Finished around um, eighth. Yeah, and his, his Atlanta race was just fuel strategy gone wrong. Is He was hoping that there would be a late race caution, and for the first time ever in the Xfinity series, the race went wire to wire under green. So right. last week he swung and missed. So hopefully this week he makes some contact, but not the kind of contact with another car. Yeah, definitely. For Nina Miller, of course, he's sitting on the pole. If he does make it into the next round, he'll carry on a bonus point uh, for the next round. So, uh, yeah. Miller aiming for, I think, his first win in the Xfinity Series. He's already picked up multiple in the Xfinity Series. I don't think he's been in victory lane in Cup, though, but he's well, in the chase almost. for all three, actually. Well, he almost won a Cup race, but we don't talk about that anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. Rip. The Glenn Bundren scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. Getting ourselves set up for the green flag this time by the number nine. And Nick Miller is going to lead the field to the restart on the outside. The 65, Ryan Kendrick. All, he, too, has been consistent. Watch out for that number 65. He's getting set for the first green flag of the season. Um, one car is through the dead in the out, middle. And that is Cowell. Dominic Howell. Uh, that's for sure going to be a black flag, I imagine. I don't I do not know what that was or why it happened, but it did. And that will be a 
black flag for the 30. That, that's that's a new one. I don't know if I've seen that in nice car before. Especially not on the uh, initial start of the race. Oh, no, oh no. my gosh! Oh, my goodness! Oh, no! That was bad. He almost, he almost took his teammate out, Mulrooney, right there. That was bad. Mulrooney just lost some time having, I think he let off to not hit him, but... Ooh, man. I was trying to find the command for Black Flag. I was typing BF rather than uh, actually Black itself, but whatever. Getting yeah, herself set back uh, to the green flag, and of course, uh, Dominic Howe with a severe jump. He is actually one of your chasers, so that was not a smart decision for that number 30. Might have been... Uh, uh, that might be one of the dumbest things I've seen all season. <laughs> yeah, no, no offense, but that, that, that was, was pretty bizarre. dumb. I don't know about that one, but... Oh, boy. All right, well, beyond those shenanigans, a pretty uh, pretty clean start to the race so far. Uh, looks like the positions are mostly the same up towards the front. So 56 of Kean Rally Howells actually gotten by Mulrooney for third. So really the only change in the top five so far. And with Kendrick, I think. Yeah, Kendrick's still in second, so. Still very early. Yeah, they're gonna go two by two as Mulrooney works himself to the bottom side. Look at that, three one up the middle. That's Josh Patterson, what a move. Oh, he's very... trying to squeeze to the high side of Mulrooney. Whoa. Man, there's a lot Yellow of contact out. there. Speaking of, we do have a caution. caution. That's Seth Rawls in the 078. Oh, sucks for him. Yeah, he, oh, he had a lot of front end damage too. His first Xfinity race back. Not off to a good start. We'll see what happened here. Racing with Matthew Klein. Oh, yeah. Matthew got into him. And oh, he just couldn't save it. Ooh! Oh. Holy, that was close. I don't know who that was that barely, barely missed him, but man, that was a close call for whoever that was. Right, definitely. Um, sort of a lucky break for that number 30 car, Dominic Cal. Um, coming to put himself back onto the lap. I mean, <laughs> not lead lap, but catch up to the field after that horrible restart. Just... I guess we could just be grateful that he didn't end up wrecking the entire field doing that. Last time, but he tried that. That was terrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, that didn't ball. go well. <laughs> it runs open. Someone stayed out. Okay, it's like Mitch Hobbs. The 89 of Mitch Hobbs, yeah. I think that's Hobbs. It's Either the 89 or the 99. I think it's the 89. 89. We saw a video like that of one of our own uh, last week do something similar to that at Daytona. We saw. Oh, I don't know if anybody saw the video or not, but uh, our own James Youngman, who won the super late model race not that long ago, shot the gap and. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What's uh, that? I saw that video. Oh. That was, that was just horrible. And she shot the gap and then spun it, and the whole field wrecked. And unsurprisingly, he was suspended for the rest of that season. But oh, he got suspended. I mean, not he was surprised. suspended for the rest of the season for that. Yeah. That is hilarious. For anybody that hasn't seen it, it's. I'm sure the people in the league didn't find it funny, but I sure found it funny. <laughs> Again, like in real life, um, the fans love it. People. You know, of course, the people who are watching love it. The drivers, the officials, not so much. Yeah, James got the uh, Tony Stewart Award for finally wrecking enough race cars. Uh, Speaking of Tony Stewart, if anybody saw his big, uh, his big news a couple days ago, he's coming back and racing the Xfinity Series at the Indy Road Course. So, fun times in NASCAR recently, too. I had to plug that in. All right, one to go this time by. Um, uh, Harley is the, starting uh, second in a special Noah machine. Allen. Noah <laughs> Allison in the Nick Miller machine. And speaking of Miller, he's going to be starting alongside of him. But yeah. And the just... other and the other Nick Miller scheme is starting behind Nick Miller. That is Jake Sylvia in the 778. 
So, uh, Nick Miller is currently surrounded by himself. I'm just scarred for a lot of bad paint skin. Like that. So, so basically, if Jake or Noah get into Nick, then Nick wrecked himself. <laughs> That's horrible. No, stop it. Don't even. You can't oh, prove me wrong. Boy. I mean, look, Nick's right. They got Nick right on the hood. So if he gets spun, he's spinning himself, and you cannot prove me otherwise. <laughs> One out of three, even though it's not even his fault. <laughs> One out of three bullshit puns in the broadcast. <laughs> oh, no, man. All right, here we go. Getting herself set up for the restart. Um, Mitch Hall like is the one who stayed right out. I don't know why Kean Rally Howell's now in 18th. Something must have happened on his pit stop or something, but he was running top five before that yellow came. I don't know what happened there. Green, green. We're back to green now. And green flag, green flag. Bob's with a pretty decent restart. He didn't spin the tires or anything, so. Well, of course. No, uh, our... There's only eight laps logged on those fresh tires. I'm not expecting a lot of tires. You see right there. The looseness from that number 24. Oh, car on the wall. That's Burgey in the 83, and I think he saved it. Wow. He almost hit another car, so that was a close call right there. And Mitch Hobbs will log in a green flag lap lead. That's exciting for that number 89. I know Mitch doesn't run a lot of the, a lot of ISCAR races. Good to see that number 89 run it go front. Might lead another one as long as he holds off that number nine. Well, speaking of holding off that nine, Nick Miller's closing fast as he's gained a lot of time off the restart. And here he comes. I think in the next turn he'll have a chance to pass that 89 for the lead. Perhaps on the bottom. We'll have to see where he, where he goes and what he does. As we hit lap 10, so about a tenth of the way through the race already. Still a long way to go. And... Miller tries it, but can't quite make it yet. Side by side off the corner as well. This is around where Josh Patterson and looks like the number 21 of Austin Johnson. We did not make a start at Atlanta. Austin is coming into here as uh, he's kind of outside the bubble, so he needs to get himself forward, as you see right there. Miller number outside. nine, Miller. And looks like Jake Sylvia is going to give him a bump across the line, so a little bit of bump drafting going on here on the front stretch. Racing fairly close with one of the pure like chasers. The wow! Down. What a bump! Oh, that's so oh. close! Oh, the one to tag the wall was Jake. Yellow five what a down. daring Yellow. move, though. And oh, oh, a big wreck! Crack. Noah Allison, Burgie. Right, Somebody was else was spinning in that, too. A white car. And well, Nick Miller in it. Oh, no! The points leader's in it. Yeah, there, there, you, there you see Nick Miller's face involved in that. Is Burgie smoking? Um, there's a green car. That was a big crash. Liam Sheen. There's a car. I think that I think that's Rawls. That was from the previous caution. That's not new. There, oh, that. Oh, oh, that's Brody Garner, the 99. That's the other car I saw. That was Allison. Looks like it might have been 24. Bam! Right oh, there. Oh, Burgi, nowhere to go in that. Burgi almost had it missed, and Allison just flew down the track and clocked him. Yeah, we'll have to see how hard of a hit Mulroney took. But considering he towed it down to pit road, it probably was a really hard hit to the inside. Oh, that's one of them. That's oh, yeah. Chaser involved. Uh, I don't know who's the one who had the oh. banner. Bam! Right there. See the that's big hit. Yeah, we're gonna see what you know, Mulroney. Oh, the roughs. Oh, oh wow. Man. Yeah. That was like Chase Briscoe's wreck at Vegas two years ago. That was William Schmidt, the one to get hit as Noah went down the racetrack. Wow. That was a huge crash, and, and I'm, I'm surprised. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm sort of not surprised there was a, a wreck that big, but I am surprised it happened on like lap 11. Right. That was really early for a wreck that big, but yeah, with William Schmidt already on the outside looking in, that's, he might get eliminated in two of the three chases this weekend. 
I mean, as he was eliminated uh, from the cup chase last night. Right, but there's two people who did not show. The Webster was one of them, Falkiam was another, and Loa Hankins. Hankins didn't. So maybe this whole round might eliminate all the drivers who did not show up. So as long as William logs in enough laps, I mean, yeah, I guess logs in enough laps to keep himself at least four or five points ahead of last place. Well, well Austin Johnson's in fourth. And Johnson and Schmidt are only two points apart, so this po this battle could come down to those two. But with the amount of damage the 79 has, it'll if the 21 can just make it to the end, he might end up just securing himself in. Right. Because with Falkingham and Hankins and Webster all not showing up, there. Oh yeah, they're all out. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. What am I talking about? Forget everything I just said, I'm delusional. Yeah, I guess this round sort of... Screw it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's too bad for William that he wrecked out this early, but... I mean, he's still out there on the racetrack. He pounded the inside wall. He sort of slapped it in square way. Yeah. Well, and, and we saw Mulrooney get all of that damage in there, but... That's right. why it was so crucial for him to build up that cushion that he had on second place so even if he gets a bad finish today he still got some wiggle room even i believe until the next round so right of course uh 10 point yeah, lead 10 over Derek. yeah Derek M. smith Derek, oh, he too was involved in iraq he's out oh. he's in 24 Derek? i didn't even realize Derek showed up he must have missed i must have missed him when your ticker was going like a thousand miles per hour uh, <laughs> yeah Derek. um actually because he's six laps down. Everybody else who was involved in that wreck was two, so he might have disconnected early. I'm not sure about that number status. Perhaps. I think we're going to get the one to go here. I think. I wonder if Grendel was in that, too. He might have been. He's down there as well. Harry is. He's currently one lap down as of right now. He's the only person one lap down, but of course... A bit oh, yeah, he's got damage. A bit of front end damage on that machine. Not hit. How do I say? Not his day so far. Yeah, not his day. So we have gotten the one to green, so Nick Miller will restart on the inside, and Nick Miller will restart on the outside, too. Oh, uh, I'm gonna confuse the one. One. Sorry. Just kidding, that's no, that's no Allison. It, it, it's the ride. Of, oh no, that's Jake Sylvia. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong Nick car. <laughs> See, you're confusing yourself now. <laughs> yes. There are two Nicholas cars. Three. There are infinite Nicholas cars. We need to get the whole field to run the next week. No. <laughs> I'll be overboard. And our cell set up for the green flag this time by is going to be uh, Jake. He took on two tires last time by, so uh, Jake's going to be starting toward the front. Miller's going to be on the outside. Austin Johnson, Mitch Hobbs, and Josh Patterson are going to round out the top five. Pace car is going to slide itself on a pit road for, I think, the third time tonight. Uh, that's 778. Lead the field to the green. Green's out. Green I think flag, there was a bit of a flag. stack up there. I think somebody went a little too early, but no harm, no foul is. Sylvia will pull away at least briefly here into turn one. And here comes Hobbs looking for second. That number nine of Nick Miller. Great move by Hobbs to stay out on that run and be sort of shoved, shoved himself into a nice position into this top five. So great to see that number 89. field now. And Sylvia leads the lap. Three wide right behind is uh, the 56 getting squeezed. Just a slight contact! Oh, no. oh, that's Kendrick. one of the chasers! Oh, that's one of the... Oh, what a save. Been, that could have been a lot worse than it was. That he, was one hell of a did, save. He did hit the wall, but... Man, that could have been much, much worse. Yeah, it looks like there were three wide entering turn number one. Keen Rally Cowell was the one to hit him, but there was a car under them, so I wouldn't... Pin the blame 100% on that number 56, but 
and still the contact being made between them, but luckily for that 65 at Kendrick, what a hell of a save by that number 65. Still a long way to go, too. He's, Kendrick's not, definitely not out of the race for sure, because it's still 82 laps to go, so right. I'm sure we'll have more cautions before this thing wraps itself up, so it'll be a minor setback, but it's definitely not the end of the world for Kendrick. Right up off the corner. Um, so, There's Miller, uh, I got informed by Nick Miller that it's a slight bit, uh, slightly multi groove in one and two. You could run that middle, maybe the high side of the racetrack, just a slight bit of those late afternoon conditions. Might scoot everybody down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Maybe in the longer run, you might see some uh, uh, people being, uh, what's the word, um, ambitious. ambitious. With, right. With that uh, safer barrier, but as of right now, everybody's sticking to that white line. And you see Austin Johnson trying to trying to look for second place, but can't quite get it. Now we see Josh Patterson in the O2 looking for fourth underneath Mitch Hobbs, and he will acquire it out of turn number two. So Hobbs losing a couple spots, but still running strong in the top five. And it looks like he might attempt to cross over here and get that fourth position back. Oh, it got tight. Had to lift off the throttle a lot, and that's going to allow the number 38 of Nick and Delicato to now sneak up on him. Delicato had a nice run at Auto Club. Not only that, he picked up the win at the uh, two-mile circuit, but Delicato looking for another W here for tonight. He's currently running sixth. And looks like Casey Drake in the 87 will have a run on him out of turn two for that sixth position. And Casey will be able to clear him out at two, and now... That is the 99 of Brody Gardner, also going to go by that 38. So Nick losing two spots there, but again, still, still a lot of time left in this one. Oh, see so the front straightaway, and I in this top three is Nick Miller and Austin Johnson trying to attempt to work around uh, that 778. Um, all three of these cars are. Here comes uh, Nick. Different teams, and here comes Miller, as you said. And he's going to work himself down low. Box in that 21 of Austin Johnson. Nowhere to go for him. They're going to enter three. 78 is going to be on the high side. Looks like Jake's going to hold on for now. And he, will, and he actually clears him. So we'll lead at least one more lap, but Nick's definitely hungry. And here comes Johnson for second. Right against that white line and right up off the corner it seems as though it, the middle line of the racetrack as I said it's starting to kick in just a slight the 21 Austin Johnson uh, a bit off guard maybe by that outside run but maybe have to put that in a note for these next uh, 75 laps so it's top three of a little bit of separation but Josh Patterson the O2 trying to catch these three and here comes Johnson again for second He'll try it once more, and I think he might get it here out of turn two. Oh, well, if so he got it tight. Backstretch into turn number three. Now Johnson's got it. Yeah, finally, he got the spot. He shoved himself into the corner enough to clear that number nine, and he's going to scoot himself into second place. Of course, Austin Johnson has never picked up a nice car series win. They might be his day, as well as uh, the 778 and Jake Sylvia doing a nice job of holding these two chasers off. Jake now electing the middle lane of the racetrack rather than running the white line. Nice run off on the corner and get a gap that second place just by a half a car lane. But still a manageable gap right now in the lead. Yeah, you mentioned Johnson not picking up a win. He had a really nice run at going in mid-Ohio before his engine expired with about eight to go. And he's trying to change that here as he's trying to get underneath that 778. Can't quite hear, but I think he'll have a shot into turn one. Oh, nope, Jake, down low. Jake, and Jake cuts him off. So, yeah, you mentioned Sylvia doing a nice job keep holding these two off, but and looks like Miller's gonna try to get second back from Austin. All the way to the yellow outside. Flag is and out. We do have a yellow flag again, and it's gonna happen to the oh, field. Oh, oh, Mitch. Mitch Hobbs. Oh, he's gonna and spin it. Oh, whoa, okay. You see Kendrick already coming down pit road. Probably to repair the damage he got before. Let's see what happened to that 885. There's a little right up off the corner. Hobbs, as though, um, 
Oh, that's a bell. Huh. 85 yeah. of uh, PC Drake. Oh, wow, we kept it off the wall. Wow. I'm really, Im it's too bad Mitch spun out, but I'm really impressed that he was able to keep that off the wall. Because when you spin like that and you're going right towards the wall like that, you're more than likely going to hit it, but he was able to lock it down. And Actually, Casey didn't hit anything either. He's also missing like down both of them. on the straightaway. I don't know why he was coming down. But... Okay. I'll have to see if anybody decides to pit here. Oh! Jake decides to come in last second. I think that's Dominic Howe that's staying out. So all the leaders... Coming down here. We'll see if anybody decides to take two instead of four tires. and Or if everybody will take four. We shall see. I'm pretty sure uh, this deep into the run, everybody's going to slap on four tires. Whoa. But Jake, um, you see right there, Nick. one huge overshoot. The 38 of Nick and Delicato is, struggles real for that number 38 as he finally boxes it in. But um, you mentioned strategy. Two tires might be the call. Jake Sylvia in that 778, he did take on two tires last time by. Retain the lead Nick's for first a out. Oh, or is he? Oh, I don't know who got first out, but Josh Patterson slapped on four tires. He, I don't even know where he came from. He's gonna get. He's most likely gonna come out as the leader. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought that I forgot that the end of pit road is not the last stall. So Nick did not quite get out first, but yeah, what a what a stop for Patterson. He must have gotten that. Mr. Clean pit crew from those old EA Sports NASCAR games. That yeah. was a fast one. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll try and how fast his pit stop was. So it looks like a 14.4 on his pit stop. Uh, everybody else, a 14.9 for Jake. That's a slow pit stop. Uh, Nick wow. Miller, a 14.3. So, huh. I wonder where Patterson was on pit road. I mean, prior. I mean, uh, Unless he got a speeding him. penalty, but... Oh, he didn't get he a probably speeding penalty. Speeding. Wow. Huh. He spent That's one less second on pit road as well, itself. 39.2 seconds. Everybody else was roaming around 40, 40 seconds, oh. 41 seconds, so... I don't know how he did it, but that's the difference. I guess he just launched off nicely off of his stall, and now it's up into second place. Uh, the one who stayed out on the racetrack, actually, is that number 34, Liam Sheen. He's the front end, but... Starting to the front. Yeah, Harry Grindel, I believe, is a wave round car. So now the next, the next lap, he should catch up to the rear end of the field. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Liam is staying out with that much damage, but unless it's not, unless it's just cosmetic damage. Oh wait, that's cosmetic. The whole front yeah, that looks. Thing. Yeah, that looks way too. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the field too much. Hopefully, there's a man who, on the race off a of bit road, now sitting in uh, like a place. finish line. Uh, Harry Grindle is going to get his wave around. But back onto the lead lap. Of course. 34. Uh, Electing to stay out with no front end. Should be interesting on where that uh, 34 will stand. Uh, yeah. And set for the uh, the green flag this time by. And the machine without a front end is going to go. coming out. We're going to take the green flag on lap number 30 out of 31 out of 100. Uh, I think it's still going to be a... It's not going to be a two-stop race. Um, it's still going to be a two-stop race most likely, but I'll have to find out how 
how this run will play out and where the cautions will play. Back, but here we go again, set for the green flag, 34 of the machine, we'll lead the field to the restart. Base cars in and machine hits the throttle, we're back up and away and green, green, green. Close with the power in that machine. Not really getting up to speed as Patterson's gonna sneak up behind that 34, gonna shot himself to the inside, a bit of a crossover move on the front stretch. And Patterson's gonna shove his nose to the bottom side of the racetrack. Wasting no time. And here comes Sylvia. We might oh, have to rewatch man! Both to the wall. Bill to the bottom. Oh. Yep. Patterson and Sheen both. Oh! What a save! Wow. Don't know who's gonna lead it at the wire, but that was a huge scramble. Patterson, Patterson wow. leads that lap. There could have been three or four different wrecks, and they all managed to save it. That was really impressive. Definitely. Wow. Man, that was crazy. Okay, head into turns number uh, three and four. Finally get settled down just a slight, but Miller is trying to look for himself around that double O, I mean, I wouldn't say double O2, uh, the O2 of Patterson scoots himself to the inside, and Miller trying to wash up the racetrack, wow. back onto the banking, nearly clipped that O2. The 21 of Austin Johnson, Josh Patterson's teammate, is going to follow him in pursuit. There's five cars under a blanket as... Johnson is attempting to semi-block the 9, opens up the door for the 99 of Brody Gardner to the inside. Yeah, Nick's losing a lot of time now. He's going to be down to 4th now if Gardner can complete this pass. Overrun on the outside, though. Gardner cannot quite do it yet. Off the corner. Ooh, that 21 uh, Johnson might attack the wall right up off the corner, but luckily, not a lot of momentum, not a lot of momentum lost. Packing the wall. Keeps himself up front, and he's going to shove his run to the inside. Also, right behind, Jake Celia trying to work himself to the inside of the 99, but for the lead, Austin Johnson. First time he's going to shuffle to the front. Patterson's going to attempt to whip on the high side, and you've seen that outside line work. And right there, it's playing into benefit from that O2. Nick. Here comes Nick on the outside. Mike give that, gives it O2 a little bump going into turn three. And that will allow Patterson to come down and clear that 21. Um, I am actually wrong. Uh, Johnson is not on the same team as Patterson. And look at that three wide to the bottom side of the racetrack. Yeah, uh, now they're proving they're not teammates. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. They're so close yeah, right up on the corner. Wow. They're bump drafting again. Garner's pushing Miller down the back stretch into three. Don't count out Jake Sylvia in the 778. He's right back there in the mix as well. He got five cars all still battling for this lead spot. You're gonna go three, three wide, wide at the again. Line. Looks like the bottom didn't really work at first for Johnson. Whoa. And Sylvia almost got to the 99 right there. Close right up off the corner and still up front. Oh, cars attacking the wall and such like that. But nothing matter for that number nine and Miller. He's now starting to pull away from that 0-2 of Josh Patterson. Probably one of the very few hectic restarts here. Oh! Whoa. Oh, what a save! That is amazing! Oh my gosh, I cannot Man, believe that Brody close. kept going. And he's gonna go for second now! That 99 car has had a really good couple weeks in the Xfinity series. Between tonight and last week at Atlanta, really showing what he's capable of here is he will get second place here for now. For the 0 2. Nope, maybe not. Uh, Patterson's gonna shove himself to the high side. Of About to run off the corner. Patterson tags the wall and it's gonna open up the door for the 99 to scoot himself ahead. 
Here comes Johnson, gonna work down low. No, nope. like Patterson's not clear. Brody's gonna run the second leg of the racetrack. Payne's second place for now, but allowed that number nine to Nick Miller to now pull away by half a car length. I mean, no, more than half a car length. Full second. Oh man, some other more contact right behind. Patterson doesn't hit the wall. It's a crossover move by Sylvia trying to get into three, but not quite enough yet. Sylvia likes the high side this time. Patterson is coming down low. Right up off the corner. Sylvia got a nice run off. The oh man, more and more in contact. I don't even know what the heck that was, but uh, um. Lots of contact being made between the two as Patterson's gonna boot that 78 up the racetrack. Sylvia will not be happy about that, but still a lot of race left, so Sylvia might try to get back at him for that. We'll have to see, but I'm surprised a move like that came that early. Not even halfway yet. Some other battles going on right behind. This is the uh, 55, Paul Granada, and the 028 of Jack D'Andrea. The number 30 of Dominic Howe is one lap down. Actually, multiple laps down. No, it actually is one lap down. I thought he was two, but Dominic is trying to stay uh, within these leaders and such. Right now, uh, not a lot of time to see Jack, uh, Jack in that 028 and the 55 of Paul Granada run up front. We're getting a bit of screen time right now as they work themselves to the front stretch. Themselves into three and four, and Sylvia electing to run that higher groove. A bit of multi grooves kicking in now. Fairly surprised, honestly. But as of right now, that number nine and Nick Miller slowly is scooting himself up and away. See right there, he wants to run the middle lane of the racetrack rather than right against that white line. Brody also electing around with that middle side of the racetrack as well as the, not the 21 of Austin Johnson. Might be the 778 of Jake Sylvia. Yeah, um, we've come to the point of the run in which these tires are starting to get more worn and such. That these drivers are now playing around with uh, their cars and trying to search for some grip on the racetrack. And you see right here, um, the higher you go, the more momentum you'll get. 99 of Brody Gardner can pull ahead at that number 21 of Johnson just momentarily. They go side by side in a 1 and 2. Johnson got a nice 1 and 2 on the bottom side of the racetrack. No clear. This has also caused the field to really spread out a lot. Is we, we had that five car blanket for about four or five laps and now Nick's opened up a two and a half second lead on the 99 at Gardner and even back to 10th place first to 10th now eight and a half seconds apart so with the tires wearing out on this longer run it's really started to spread this field out more than it was before so some of these guys might be hoping for a caution just to maybe bunch the field back up again here here there's the battle for 12th place as the 77 of Keaton Jones the 38 of Nick and Delicato also in this mix, as well as the 79 of William Schmidt. He actually loses a lot of time, but that number 77, Keaton Jones, of course, a chaser coming in for tonight. Side by side with the 38, might lose the position now. But clear off the corner, so we'll focus in on how the number 77 Jones really is the, doing. It's really the first we've talked about Keaton all night now been quietly having a decent-ish night and I'm not sure what wreck he picked that damage up in but the big one. 13th is probably yeah 13th is all right but I'm sure he'd like to run better than that but either way uh probably having a decent day so I guess maybe no noise is good noise or no news is good news yeah definitely down the back straight and Miller is led. Oh my goodness, Johnson with a huge problem. He's all the way to the apron. And that's gonna allow Brody to scoot himself by. We're gonna get a replay of what happened to that number 21 of Austin Johnson as he worked themselves right off the corner. I, I think he's, he's gonna sideways. 
kidding? I don't I'm not sure. Oh, no, he is. Oh, it's weird. Oh, oh it's there. Wall. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he might have hit here. I, I'm not sure if he hit or not. No, he didn't. Hmm. So the gap between Miller and Garner now almost four seconds. So Nick has checked out for the time being, and there is nobody in sight of that nine car. So. At least for the time being, Nick can just run his own race and not have to worry about anything at the moment. Yeah, definitely. A total opposite day of what he had at Atlanta. He went multiple laps down in that number 9 machine after a long pit stop in the final run. But that number 9 is running toward the front, and he's blazing fast like the two of Mulroney was at Atlanta. The 778 of Jake Sylvia right in front of your screen. He scoots himself to the front straight away, currently fourth. Casey Drake, he's been having a span of good runs as well in that number 87. Currently running fifth. But right now we'll get a deeper look into his statistics. Started all the way back in 24th place. How about that? Very close to the wall. Yeah, indeed a really solid day considering where he started now up in the top five, so. Definitely a momentum booster for that 87 team, even though he's not in the chase. Got so, one person on pit road, and it's Miller. That's Miller. All right, I guess uh, the pit window is going to open up this time by, and Miller's going to take the bait on in. He's going to drag up a Johnson. couple of drivers as well on pit road. Couple more. Sylvia, Sylvia's pitting as well. But with, with them pitting right now, this means that even if they max it out at 33 laps, they're still going to have to pit at least one more time before this is all set and done. Right, even if you do stretch this fuel run all the way forward, you're still going to have to pit one more time. So it's a good strategy to short pit it just a slight and split that run uh, evenly into three uh, three, uh, three parts. So good call there by Miller to come on in early. See some more people hitting pit road this time. Uh, Brody Gardner, Mitch Hobbs, he too scoots himself on in. Jack DeAndra, he was running toward the top ten. He's on in. Comes here, uh, That's the Casey leader. Drake. Casey Drake down on the pit road. So that will shuffle the 55, I th or unless the 55 came in. Oh, two. Yeah, Patterson now out front. You are right. The 55 of Paul Granada did hit pit road. He also dragged along that number 77, Keaton Jones. And, uh... Go ahead and do some service and slap on four tires and fill it up with snuggle fuel. There's Patterson scooting himself on in. And that should shuffle the lead once this is all said and done. Back to that nine and Nick Miller. So I think Peter, so it looks like Peter Kenny, William Schmidt, the other two cars yet to come down pit road. Penny just followed in Patterson on the road, so Schmidt, the one to stay out. Good call by that number 79 to stay himself out on the racetrack. Of course, he comes in tonight. One of the people out, uh, one of the people near that cutoff area. A bonus point will help him toward uh, toward that next round. But of course, uh, with uh, Falkiam, Giloa Hankins, and uh, Cody Webster not showing up, might overshoot it just a slight. No, he doesn't, but he could just help him just a slight. There's Miller scooting himself to the start finish line. And that is for the lead. So that nine car now right back where he was before the pit stop started and solid race for him so far. That once he separated himself from those other four cars, it's been smooth sailing from there on. Definitely. Second place, it's uh, number 99 of Brody Gardner. 
He hit pit road a bit early, now scooting himself to the backside of that number 21 of Austin Johnson. Johnson. Uh, oh, hold on to it for now. I don't think this battle's over yet. Whoa, that's close. Oh. Man, that's pinpoint driving right there by Brody. He's going to scoot himself into second place. Look at that. He's right up against the safer barrier. They're still side by side. Garner will have the position for now, but you know, actually clear him. Wow. So the outside looks like it's starting to come in now and definitely working more than it was earlier on. So we'll see if anybody else decides to jump up there and try it out. Yeah, the only person I've seen really uh, gain a lot on that outside line is this number nine in Nick Miller. We're going to have an onboard of him as it works himself into uh, one and two. And you see right there, uh, actually he's all the way to the bottom. I think when the tires start wearing more, that's when the drivers will uh, want to drift up to that second lane. But on fresh rubber, like right now, uh, Miller's sticking all the way down to that, to that white line. Three laps down, of course, a lot of damage on his machine. Got one car blinking behind. That is Peter Kenny. That is has a lot an of internet blinking. of a potato. And it looks oh like a dust goodness. storm right in front of that number 34. Poor Sheen. He's probably working out just a slight because that 42 is blinking out so hard, but that, that might he might disconnect from his session. That's that that's really bad. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if he fell through. Yeah, William Schmidt actually did go a lap down on that pit stop. So, if the caution were to come out, William would get the lucky dog and put himself back up on the lead lap. But, definitely a good call, as you mentioned, staying out and picking up that bonus point for leading a lap, regardless. Right. So, about 40 to go, just over halfway. So, we'll probably see... The last round of pit stops probably in the mid 80s in terms of lap count towards the end of that run with most of the field coming in between 52 and 55 I'd, they'll probably come in I would say around maybe 85 but then we'll have to see if anybody goes fuel only or if anyone decides to take some tires right that too still a ways to go before we get there 38 laps to go. So if you pit uh, with 33 laps to go, you'll make it from this point forward. Barely, but yes. Uh, just barely, though. However, if there's any if there's a, any green white checker, you'll have to come right back down to pit again. Right. It's better to split this run in half so you don't have to worry about uh, green white checkers. We'll have a ten five laps of fuel remaining. Yeah. It could also bounce the run out as well um, for, a, for a, a longer run. Pretty quiet race now. Right, of course, after those big wrecks uh, on the back straightaway. I'm pretty sure we've eliminated a lot of competition now. Only, I'd say, um... I think there's 18 cars on track, and I think, nine. like, 15 are on the lead lap. Right. Like that. 14 on the lead lap, and yeah. 18 cars on, the, on track right now. Yeah, and with this run spread out the way it is, is I see one car way up the yeah, track. Yeah, holy crap. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's Dale Jr. high. But, yeah, with the field this spread out, not a lot of battles really going on. Pretty much everyone at this point just running their own race and hoping they don't self-spin or anything like that. But I'm not, I'm kind of not surprised you've hit this point. I figured once we had a longer green flag run, we'd end up with a spread out field and someone's still blanking. I'm like, yeah, still. Peter Kenny.
There's Miller right in front of your screen. The last time he pitted was 14 laps ago. He'd stretched it all the way to lap 75 from that point forward. Actually. 85. Yeah, 85. I'll have to come down about, he pitted, the last time he pitted was 25 laps into his run, so if he were to pit next time by, it would, it would be around laps 77, 76. I believe uh, enough laps to take it from uh, that point forward. Speaking of people who are hitting that lap 25 mark, Harry Grindle, working on his 25th lap uh, on the racetrack. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him on pit road. Here he goes. There he is. You should, be a, in. You should be a mind reader. I should. Hmm. <laughs> so Brenda will be able to make it to the end now, unless there are any white checkers. Honestly, I'm not sure if he could actually make it from that point forward. But... Well, that would, it's about 31 laps. With, so if 20, if it's 25 to 33, then. All right, he, he that was three and nine. And it looks like. Miller is about to put that 020 to Jack D'Andrea a lap down, which in the grand scheme of things in the whole race isn't a big deal, but for William Schmidt it is, because if, if D'Andrea goes a lap down, William will no longer be in the lucky dog position. Back to wall right up off the corner. Down. Yeah, Jack, uh, go 28, opened up the door for that there nine to scoot himself through. Where is he? Blinking a little bit. And now that's a bit of worrisome for that number 79, William Schmidt, who's all the way back here. Uh, 14th place. As you said, uh, now not on the lead lap. I mean, now not the first car one lap down. He's got to have to pass that 028 as fast as he can. Get the lucky dog the next caution. Yeah, I think they're about at least five-ish seconds apart. So I think next... I thought he was going to come in for a second. He went way down on the apron, but... Yeah, I think Nick's going to... Or, um, William's going to have to track him down on track. Which will be tough. This battle for second place has been raging on as now Johnson works himself on the low side of Brody. These two have been stuck with each other for most of this run. Now Brody gets real loose off the corner. I wouldn't say off the corner, just in the middle of the back straightaway. I think it was like playing in the block that number 21. A bit hesitant of it. Opened up the door for the bottom of Austin and right off the corner. I don't know who's going to get the advantage in the one. I think, I think Austin will. We'll have to see if Brody can make that high line work as we saw a little ways back. William Sheen might get in the way here. Hopefully he doesn't. Yo, he's good. Oh. <laughs> Oof. That's going to cost Brody some time as Johnson now way into second. There's Dominic Howe. He's, he is a lap down, though. Whoa. Whoa, man. He got real Almost tight. Almost got into him. Yeah, oh. Liam Sheen. Yeah, Brody caught Liam Sheen at a really bad time, so... That allowed Austin Johnson to slide himself right into second place, virtually with no effort. As Ryan Kendrick has now gone a lap down, so he's now in the lucky dog position. So William now really in a in a predicament here. He's still now have to pass two cars on on track instead of one. As Nick's just dominating guys and putting them all a lap down is. Mitch Hobbs is the... Oh. Oh, wow. We have a lot of cars coming in. Yeah, everybody from third much on cool. back is going to hit pit road. Yeah. Johnson, Gardner, I think Sylvia is down as well. Yep. 
right. They should be the final stops of the day. There's Indelicato. Burgess still Miller's sitting gonna there. Miller's going to follow on in. Last thing now he's we'll needed. See, now we'll have to see if anybody takes tires or if anyone takes... See how this goes. Uh, Johnson honestly, with off. the... With the lead that number nine has, two tires won't really gain you as big of advantage. And plus, so we're, they're going to go a full fuel run from this point forward. So I would slap on four because uh, the fuel Looks run. Looks like next taking four. Yeah. He is off. Yeah, he, he had about a nine second lead before everybody came down. So let's see what his lead is. Once everybody shuffles through, there's stops. And if any time was gained or lost. Paul Granada. This is just, it's the whole top 10 from everybody in the top 10 except for Nick has yet to come down pit road. Right. And there you see Nick go flying down the leaderboard for now. I think all these people yeah, are just trying to catch a caution just to stay on the lead lap and get themselves into a good position. But we'll have to see uh, how far they can stretch it. They're probably going to have to hit pit road in probably a couple of laps. Yeah, Casey already came down, so this will put Paul into the lead. But Keaton looking low. That's really close. I think Paul actually got, got him there. Yeah. It would be nice for Keaton to lead the lap. Because, of course, uh, leading a lap will... He needs to, yeah. last point. He, he sort of needs to. He could stay out a lap longer than that number 50, uh, that number 55. Paul is working on his 25th lap on the racetrack. Keaton is working on his 24th lap on the racetrack. Now he works himself to the high side. I don't know if Paul's coming in this time by. They could both go another five or six laps if they really wanted to, but... Right, very we'll true. See if they do or not. We haven't seen There's anybody stretch the fuel runs, correct? There's Patterson, about a couple tenths behind these two as well, and DeAndrea there as well. So these four are still pretty much the only cars that are really close to each other on track, but once they pit, it won't be for position anymore. Keaton looking. They're going to go three wide here. DeAndrea to the lead. It's not DeAndrea. That's Ryan Kwan. He's actually a lap down. Oh, is it? Yeah. He, Kwan oh. is... Laps down. Oh. There he is. He used my bright yellow cars. D'Andrea's number is in bright is in a bright yellow box, so I thought bright yellow car, that must be him. Nope. I mean, speaking of Ryan Kwan, we haven't really talked about him. Not number 28, as you see Paul now scooting himself to the low side. I think he's going to come in this time by. Nope, he won't. But, yeah. He's uh, right on his door. Oh, man, he's pushing him on the pit road. Oh, I think Keaton. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Keaton wanted to come in, and he's gonna lose the lead to Patterson most likely. Yeah, I think Patterson actually beat him. Beat him to the line there. Yeah, he did. Wow, that small hiccup. That, that uh, cost Keaton a point. Yeah. We'll have to see how long Patterson stays out now, and how long Keaton stays out. Because I'm sure Keaton does want that bonus point. And here you see, we're gonna go three wide into turn three with Harry Grindle, and there's Nick. Yeah. There's Miller. He's, he too is on the lead lap. Now Keaton's just going to scoot himself on they're in. Both, they're both coming in. So that'll put Nick Miller back up to the lead. I believe Dominic Howe is now the only car yet to come down. He's in fourth. But it, look, but it looks like Nick actually gained a couple of tenths at least on the field. So he was about, I think it was about nine and a half seconds when the pit stop started. And from him to Johnson's about 11 seconds. Gained about two seconds in that round of pit stops. So barring unforeseen circumstances, this race is Knicks and Knicks only. Of course, 10 second lead over that. Number 21 machine, Austin, coming in here. As one of the people sitting outside of the of the the bubble. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's outside the chase, but with Webster and Falkingham and Hankins all not showing up, Austin Johnson will gain a lot more than two points tonight, so he should advance. <laughs> Dogs counting how many times I screw up at the broadcasts. Oh no. How many do I have? 13? More than you can count on fingers. Probably. Well, you're right. He said 13 times I've screwed up something. Horrible. <laughs> oh boy. Well, like you and me both, I've probably screwed up a bunch of times too, but. Not sure what happened to Nick and Delicato in the 38 is he's now shown like eight or nine laps down. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, he's actually not on track anymore. That number 38 looks like hit the DC button. He's not huh. going to be a factor coming in this final, uh, this final run to the green. Now, 15 he was running, away. he was running pretty decent. I'm not sure why he did that unless he wrecked it and it wasn't a caution, but. 8X on his machine. I know he got involved a bit into that. Big wreck. <laughs> yeah, uh, fortunate for Delicato, the one who picked up the W in the, uh, the auto club Last race. Night, yeah. is, is Harry Grindle still in sixth place a lap down? I don't know how that happened, but if he can make it to the end, then he'll end up scoring himself a pretty decent finish on fuel strategy. Because even, even if he finishes a lap down, P6 is P6. Yeah, definitely. Of course, Harry. Know. Coming into I don't know Harry how that six. ends up happening. It must have been a weird pit stop where all but five cars ended up lapped down. But actually, Grindel is... I think Grindel's barely good. I think he's like a lap or two to the good. Yeah. Yeah, that's really surprising. Like, we had, I think, 11 or 12 cars on the lead lap before those pit stops. Now I just have five. I think Miller is just setting such a blazing, uh, what you call it, blazing pace yeah, right Mi now. Yeah, Miller's that's... gained two more seconds since the pit stop. Set. Oh, He's man, a bit, of a, a bit of development. Brody Gardner in that number 90 run was running fourth. Looks like a disconnection from him. I don't oh, even know what no. happened to him. Oh, Time to get a replay in. Whoa! Oh, that's that a 55. Close. Brody did this. Did he just fall? Th oh, he fell through. Yeah, he's falling through. Huh. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> so, so that puts Harry Grindle now into fifth, a lap down. We haven't really talked about Harry at all today, but he can end up with a top five out of all this. So. Actually, he's duking it out with the 65 of Ryan Kendrick right now. Your battle for fifth, one lap down, and if a caution were to come out, this is the battle for the lucky dog as well. So, right. Looks like Kendrick will prevail. I think Kendrick's on fresher tires. Yeah, the last Still time. Still saw Harry though. The last time Harry yeah, hit the road was 21 laps ago versus. When Kendrick came in, it was 13 laps ago. So, uh, not working well for Harry. He actually clipped the grass under uh, the child. Yeah, Miller's just cruising up and away. 13 seconds ahead of second place right now. Is Burgey coming back on track like 50, 60 laps down? 79. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, yeah, he was, well. involved, he was involved in the big one. Might as well just work yourself out on the racetrack and have. Have fun for just 10 laps, get a couple positions, of course. Can't work himself uh, up into up into 19th place, staying out on the racetrack, so pull for him. As Nick has gained another second on the field, he's now 14 seconds up on Austin John. Pretty much he's pretty much half the track ahead of him. Hey Dewey, uh <laughs> Everybody's spamming onion on chat. <laughs> Why is everybody spamming onion on chat? <laughs> I, I am not Todd Bedine, okay? 
I, I, I know why, but why? <laughs> Take a guess who's spamming onion. That's probably Cory. Yeah. <laughs> it's also Brian as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a couple days ago, Brian photoshopped my face onto a picture of Todd Bedine, so now they're just all calling me onion. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I sent it. I think I sent it a couple days ago. I might send have. It, but... Send it after the race. I want to see this. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's funny. Well, this race is almost done in rings here as the seven laps to go. Nick gaining another second, now 15 seconds up. I mean, Nick doesn't really have to do much at this point as long as he avoids any potential trouble. I'm gonna lap up the flag. Flag. No! What? Oh no! Oh my goodness. Is that Brody? Is that Brody? Yeah, I think that is. is Brody. Oh my goodness. See what oh. happened to him. Well, he came back on track after falling through. Uh, he was, no, Did he just lose it? Um. That's. That looks intentional to me, bud. I'm gonna have to. I don't know. But we're gonna have to find out what happened to Brody. That looked kind of suspicious. He blew his engine. It was engine blue? Yeah, his engine oh. blew. It's, it's, it's somewhat as if he, like, Next coming in. Or something like that, but. You have to. Yeah, come in. it just looks kind of suspicious the way he did that, but. I'm glad to see that there was no intent there at all. That would have been terrible. Oh, jeez, that might be a speeding penalty. Now that's gonna put everybody on to. That, Kendra's gonna get the wave around. Uh, multiple people staying themselves out in the racetrack. Of course, all these people one lap down, but. Brody, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get an update on what happened at number 99. Not yet, I mean, he's had a span of good runs. He was gonna, of course, this one is only bad run. He just came off a of pit road. I don't know if he shifted out. wrong or something like that, but. Yeah, I guess dog has not heard of the term Dunyan rings before. Probably shifted into it the It means you're gear. done. Yeah, Dog said he just shifted in the wrong gear. Might have downshifted by accident. Oh my god. That's that's still too bad, though. He had a really good run before he fell out. Yeah, worked himself back into the but, racetrack. It unintentionally caused the caution, so things just sort of went from bad to very embarrassing for him. But whatever. Now I'm trying to make the uh, race a bit entertaining now, I guess. Well, at least you're not Cole Woody at Texas. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. It, it, it In most cases, it could be worse. But we also don't want to see anything close to worse. So. So, unless anybody makes the daring move of staying out, that Nick will. Yeah. Well, I don't know who the. I don't know who fourth is because it's. That might be Quan because there's no number and no name there. I think that's Ryan Quan in fourth. Quan is actually. Yeah. He was the only other car on the lead lap besides. He was about to get three. lapped too. His yeah. Caution just played to his favor. So yeah, with with that, nobody really can stay out in front of Nick. So. They're making fun of me because I shifted from fourth to second during that Charlotte race. Uh huh. Hey, that, yes. hey, you know, fun fact, that would not have happened if you had broadcast instead of raced. Yeah, very true, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm just over here spitting facts. <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> I'm hurt. You can't, ra you can't race anymore. <laughs> Well, I got a green white checkered or two to go restart, depending on uh, when the caution. Uh, I think it's gonna be. To go, so I'm not it's sure. gonna be two to go. Yeah, the, I think the lights just the lights are still on, so this will be coming to three to go. So we will get a two lap shootout. 
However, not a green-white checker. This is reg a regulation shoot unless they go more than one lap under right. pace still. Right. Let's see if the pace light's off. Yeah, they are. So it goes the entire field catching up. Yeah, of course, all those people taking the wave around. They're going to finish on the lead lap. Uh, but, of course, with older tires and such, uh, it, it's not if another If another caution comes out, though, and we end up going to a green-white checker, all these guys can pit, stay on the lead lap, and at fresh tires. Yeah, and maybe you could benefit well, all those them. Guys, all those guys in the back are probably hoping for another caution. Oh, uh, they might be the caution because, of course, older tires on a two-to-go restart is just sort of... Mm. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm interested to see how it's going to gonna be but here we go getting set for the green uh the green flag um, the entire field's still trying to catch up right now is yeah there they go yeah they there they come they're flying yeah the only the, unfortunate the, the thing about this clouds. is um they're gonna have to all start single file because they have to take the wave around so let's um, hope no one like it's gonna be a really really long not uh, a really long line from this point forward yeah uh, virgie's back there in front yeah. of a lot of them Hopefully no one spins the tires, that would be bad. Oh, that'd be horrible. And with the green flag, this time by. Here we go. And Miller's on the throttle. Whoa, green flag, Granada green flag, green flag. went way up high, but had to let off so you didn't get a black flag. If a caution doesn't come out, I think this race is Nick's to win. He already he's already pulled away a little bit. Right, of course. We're just gonna stop. Nick's just the race Yeah. Once Nick passed that group around lap. Whatever it was. Oh! Something. oh, car in the wall. Virgie. That is Virgie. Yeah, once Nick got by that group, it's been all Nick this entire race. And the white flag will be displayed at Vegas. And we have made it to white flag. So this is it. Yep, one more lap to go this time by as they work into turns number one. Uh, Austin's going to sail it into one. All right, get gets the white line but of course uh not enough with uh with a point well, one more second shot, lead but i don't think it's enough nick's just been so dominant right of course that number nine is just about led every that's, single that's lap it. from the green works himself into three and four having that white line being defensive off of turn number four checkered flag gonna pick up his first win no, i mean i think it's his first win nick miller <laughs> across the start finish line first and he wins it here at las vegas i was about to say <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Austin Johnson. Yeah, Johnson second. Good run for him. Sylvia third. The other Nick Miller car. You see the two Nicks right there. Uh, celebratory uh, door slam. Oh my god. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> oh that god. was bad. <laughs> they're still wrecking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all wrecking now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nick. <laughs> Terrible. No, nobody, nobody likes fast cars. Get him out of here. No, no burnouts for you. <laughs> what, 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 my burnout? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> All right, results gonna be shown in front of your screen. Nick Miller rounds himself out in first place. Austin Johnson in second. Jake Sylvia in third. Ryan Quan in fourth. Ryan Kendrick, Dominic Howe, Josh Patterson, Keaton Jones, Miss Hobbs, and Casey Drake gonna round out the top ten. 11th through 20th, uh, William Schmidt, your chaser, I believe, will advance on. And 11th, Paul Granada, 12th. Jack DeAndrea, 13th, last car on the lead lap. Harry Grendel, 14th. Peter Kenny, 15th. Liam Sheen in 16th. Brody Gardner, after that really impressive top five run, ends up 17th. Nick and Delicato, 18th. Joe Burgi, 19th. And Matthew Klein did not finish three laps down. He finished a lot more than that. Yeah, uh, it goes by interval. I don't know why. And he changed that. That would be that would be good. 21st to 26, Keen Rally Cowell, uh, Noah Allison, Aaron Mulrooney, Derek M. Smith, Seth Rawls, and Dane Cruz can round out the rest of the field here for tonight. Cruz and... did not start. Right. So. Everyone else did, though. As Nick has enough left in the car to do like a quasi burnout, as he's got smoke coming out of the engine and smoke coming out of the car. So he's trying. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, there he <laughs> goes. A wall. Greg Biffle. Oh, uh, no. That's a four. It's a four X. That two X. There we'll right we back. go. Right after this, I score Peter Kenny Graphics Design Series after Vegas. Uh, Microwaves yeah. be like. Mm. Uh. <laughs>
We're back here live for the uh, iScarpedia Graphic Graphics Design Series Las Vegas 150 getting set to go uh reviews. But yeah, uh congratulations to your uh race winner that number uh 9. He's currently taking a bathroom break as of right now, so we're going to go ahead and slide in somebody else and that will be uh good place that'll be awesome. Yes. With, uh, right about the uh... What? Yeah, yeah uh, right about now. And then Austin Johnson, you got a copy? Yeah, I gotcha. What up, Austin? You're gonna ground it out here in second place. Obviously, you didn't have the speed of that number nine, Miller, who lapped all the way to third place, but you were close. Uh, of course, that late caution coming out randomly and such like that, but um, yeah, how, overall, how was your race? Uh, I went better than I thought it would to be, uh, to be honest. I needed to go out here and get a good run because I missed last week, so hopefully, I'm in for the next round. Uh, but it was a good race. I mean, Nick had the thing in the bag. I don't know what he was doing differently, but he gained like a two seconds a lap, or not two seconds, two tenths a lap on me. Uh, so he's in a whole different zip code. So, <laughs> well, luckily a second place finish to round yourself out here. Of course, you were sitting behind the cutoff area before uh, tonight, and uh, with this result, uh, you're gonna boot yourself into the next round of the playoffs. How about that, man? That uh, sounds good to me. I mean, I needed to go out here, and I did the best I could. I mean, Nick was unbeatable, so uh, did it all I can, and it worked out. Yeah, definitely. A second-place finish, uh, enough to boot yourself into the second round. Uh, of course, coming in for these next two races, where are you looking forward to? Well, I have to really look at the schedule. I don't really know it right now, but hopefully um, the tracks suit me. I think Martinsville and ISM. ISM. It's some yeah. short track, so I'm okay at Martinsville. Uh, and ISM, we'll, we'll see. I mean... Have to find out. All right, man. Ten for Austin Johnson. That number twenty-one gonna round himself out in second place. Before we let you go, uh, any sponsor you want to take here for tonight? Uh, just Vortex, Johnson Graphics, uh, Jake, and uh, those lovely cars. Him and Noah running, and uh, yeah. All right, man. Ten for Austin Johnson gonna round himself out in second place. Uh, we'll go ahead and see you coming into the next round, man. All right. Austin Johnson and uh, do uh, go ahead and. I'll go ahead and drag in that second place of, I think it was Jake Sylvia in that Nick Miller machine. Uh, yeah, Jake into the booth. Uh, do we go ahead and take this one? All right, Jake, got a copy? Ew. So you're not in the Xfinity chase, but regardless, you had a very solid run. Uh, how was the car so overall tonight, the, your Nick machine? Well, it was uh, it was fairly good. I mean, I'm a little bit, I am feeling a little bit under the weather recently, so it was nice to be able to, you know, race and not have to worry about that and actually be able to get out in front and lead a few laps and then run up there. Had a little bit of run in with uh, one of the cars up there. I believe it was Josh, but, you know, got past that and moved on and had a really, really long run. And it, it worked out for me. I mean, I, I loved it. I was able to be able to get a green flag pit stop in and keep on going. And it got to those last few laps and ended up having that yellow, which... Uh, me personally, I wasn't I wasn't liking too much. Austin, on the other hand, Austin was loving it. Austin was in chat hoping for one for the last twenty laps of the race, and sure enough, he ended up getting it. So, yeah, I can I can hear it in your voice. You're still a little uh, stuffy or whatever, but glad to see you back and competitive again. But uh, so I guess next week's at Martinsville. Do you I guess are you looking forward to that at all or? Yeah, it's always been one of my good tracks. I'm fairly good at the short tracks. That's where I, you know, that's my background is short track racing. So I'd definitely hope to be able to get a win there, or at least finish top three again. All right, man. Uh, besides Nick Miller's face, uh, any sponsors you want to thank for tonight's race? <laughs> well, I got I definitely got to thank Noah for the idea. We went, we were like five minutes before the race, and I look, and he brought, he went and he did a live on Discord, and I looked at it, and sure enough, there's a giant pink xfinity car with nick miller's face all over it i was like okay let's go for it and <laughs> it worked so well uh well nick nick finished in the top three twice tonight uh winning the race and you in third so uh congrats on your run tonight and hope to see you back at martin this week. yeah thank you Jake Salvia in the 778 we're gonna go ahead and drag in your winner of that number uh uh, that number nine machine into the booth. Miller, you got a copy? Miller, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Okay, Miller. Man, what a blazing pace you set here for tonight. You lapped all the way up to fourth place. Uh, 
Uh, what were you doing different out of that machine? Uh, really just saving the tires, especially that right front, just letting it roll in the corner, easy on the entry. And uh, that middle lane really came in. I was able to get it, avoid the bumps in turn one and two to where I could run the middle and exit on the bottom. And like I wasn't have to worry about hitting the wall. So it gave me a lot of exit speed. And I just was trying to stay as consistent as I could once I got a, once I got that lead again. Yeah, definitely. There was a long run there toward the end. Uh, how were you looking with fuel, and uh, how did you play out your strategy? Just split the run up into, into a balanced uh, you know, I guess area? Yeah. Um, with Casey, with his caps, we pretty much set it up to where when I pitted, if anyone would try to undercut me, they weren't going to make it on fuel for that next pit stop, or like for the end of the race, so they had to come again. So we set it up to where no one could undercut me. And I just pretty much pitted every 25, 26 laps. I think it was like 51 and 76. That's when I pitted. All right, 10 4, man. It was enough to get you the win here for tonight. Obviously, you lapped all the way up to fourth place. But before uh, I got one more question to ask, um, uh, that late caution coming there toward the end, uh, of course, a big scare. Um, do you, were you confident you were just going to pull away since you were the control car there for that final restart? Uh, I got a little worried when Quan stayed out that one lap. I thought. I was gonna get screwed being on the top, but then he came in, and then I really just pretty much controlled. Yeah, pretty much just controlled it and pushed, and I knew I was the quickest one throughout the race. And it really sucks for Casey for because he was probably gonna get P2. He was really fast tonight, and he just made a little mess up there at the end. All right, man. Ten four. Before we let you go, any sponsor you want to thank here for tonight? Uh, Miller Motorsports, um, Sim Performance Group. Good. We had a good week. Uh, I think Derek almost winning New Hampshire, and uh, from Sim Performance, Nick and Delgado, he got that win last night. It was pretty cool to see him win. And then with us tonight, we had a pretty good week, so I'll take it. All right, man, 10-4. Nick Miller going to round himself out in first after starting on the pole. We'll go ahead and see you coming next week. Yeah, thank you. That was Nick Miller in that number nine machine. And with that rounded out, uh, what do you think of tonight's race, Dewey? Definitely more exciting than Atlanta was. It was a similar race in terms of the long runs we had, even though there were some cautions sprinkled in. But even during the race, there were a lot more battles than there were last week. The field, at least for parts, were closer together, and there was a lot more passing, I think, than last week. So it was a pretty fun race to watch once the, I guess, jitters got pushed out of the way after the first 15 or so laps. So it was a good race, and can't wait for Martinsville next week. Yeah, definitely. All the way to the paperclip, of course. The Xfinity series uh, gonna go to the short track in the real life, uh, real life uh, area, maybe in the fall, I think. But otherwise than that, uh, congratulations to that number nine and Nick Miller. Uh, we'll go ahead and end it off here. Uh, my name is Ike Reyes. and I'm Dewey Shram. Thanks for watching.